Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth and I run the blog lifefromtheviolasection.com where I share my favorite practice tips, general advice, and tech for musicians. Today I'm going to talk all about what I actually miss about music school. I know I've made a lot of videos recently about how music school kind of doesn't prepare students for the real world and how it can kind of feel a little misleading. But don't get me wrong, I loved my time in music school and I really miss it so I just want to talk about that today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you see my videos. I post a new musical video every single Sunday. Today I've got some tea in my Rebecca Clark Sonata mug. This is my favorite viola sonata and I just love Alto Cliff gifts so much. I'm not sponsored but I do have a coupon code for 10% off which is just my name, Elizabeth Knob. So if you want to buy yourself some Alto Clef gifts or if you need some gifts for a violist, Alto Clef gifts is such a great place to go. Again, I'm not sponsored. I just, I love this mug and all of, all of her products. <laughs> so if you don't know much about me, I'm a violist, as you probably just guessed, and I got my Bachelor of Music degree in 2015, and I just graduated with my Master of Music degree in viola performance last May 2021. So I'm a recent grad, but I feel like my time in music school was a bit of time ago because I graduated in 2019, a year before the pandemic. So it's been a while since I've had that normal music school routine that I just really miss. So to be honest, I felt a little bit bad after I posted my two reels about what some musicians get after going to music school. Um, <laughs> they're really funny reels and they're really accurate, but it's very negative. It's, um, you can see for yourself. <laughs> So, um, even though, yes, those things are absolutely true, I do miss my time in music school and I would absolutely go back and do it again if I was 18 again. I just wanted to post something positive because me my memories of music school aren't all negative and I don't want the whole internet to think that. And also making those reels kind of made me miss music school and being in that environment, even with the toxic aspects that I shared, there are so many positive aspects that I really miss and that I really loved. So if you were interested in going to music school, I hope this video can give you kind of some awesome things to look forward to because I really did love my time in music school even if I feel like I wasn't prepared in some aspects of my life for my career. I had a great four years in undergrad and I would totally go back and do it again if I could. So the biggest thing that I miss about music school it's just the atmosphere of being around so many musicians and inspiring people and just walking down the hallway and hearing one instrument like a clarinet and then hearing an oboe and then a viola then a violin and then a cello like just walking down the hall and hearing all of these snippets of just like beautiful music played by all these musicians that i'm around every single day it was just so cool to be surrounded by that and just to hear different music get different music stuck in my head and it's just such a cool atmosphere. Like, I still think it's so cool that I had this experience. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to brag. It's just like, that's what I always wanted. And I'm so happy and thankful that I got to experience that. Even though, yes, there are a lot of problems with college in the US and music schools and the curriculum that's taught and all of that. But I loved the experience. I loved the overall atmosphere and vibe and just the whole feeling of being in music school, yes, there are like toxic parts of it, like people telling you to practice four or six hours a day, people who are like, you don't have time to eat or sleep, you have to be practicing, you have to be rehearsing, you have to be studying. There are toxic aspects of it, absolutely, but just being, just learning about music every single day, learning something new every day was just so cool. I loved it so much. This is <clears throat> this is also kind of fueled by the pandemic, but I really miss making chamber music with my friends and being in orchestra and just just being surrounded by so many musicians and coming together and making beautiful music. It was so much fun and I know as a professional musician I could do that, but I just feel like right now isn't the time. Like I I don't know any place to do that really. And since I'm not affiliated with a school right now, I can't do that. So like it's something that I've missed the last two-ish years now <laughs> since COVID started, but um, I'm at least able to make music with my boyfriend. We have a duo together. It's a lot of fun and I absolutely love that and I love the feeling that I get when we play together, but you know, I miss being around even more musicians than just one other person. It's just a whole different experience and 
you know, to get to be in groups with different people and experience how other people make music and be influenced by that and then influence other people is such a cool learning environment. Another thing I really miss about music school is just learning all the time, always learning and actually feeling growth. That's something that I felt more in my career now that I've graduated with building a private studio and putting on my first recital for all of my students. I felt growth in that way, but feeling growth on my instrument as a musician, just feeling myself evolve, that was the coolest thing. Like at the end of every semester, I would think like, whoa, this aspect of my playing really developed. I wasn't able to do this just three or four months ago. And I felt like I had those realizations at least once a semester. And I was always just growing. And it was, it was just so cool because I saw myself becoming the musician that I really wanted to be more and more every single semester. And then I didn't feel that quite as much in grad school. I felt like I just, I was definitely changing up my technique and it was for the better. Like I loosened up my thumb and that's been great because I haven't had tension in there recently. Um, but I didn't feel that same growth and like rate of progress that I felt in music school, probably because I started out just <laughs> playing the viola and then I really became like a violist. I'm not trying to brag or sound narcissistic or anything. That's not what I mean by a violist, but like I I really like embraced the instrument and really learned about the viola. And when I came in, I was just like, I love playing the viola. <laughs> Don't know that much about viola repertoire, but like I didn't I didn't know like who many of the famous violists were or like what many of the famous viola pieces were. I don't know if I'd ever heard the Walton Concerto before college, like, I just knew I loved music and I loved playing the viola. At that point, I wanted to be in an orchestra. I wanted to be an orchestral musician. And so like, I knew a lot of orchestral repertoire <clears throat> and that was like my main focus. And then as I went through undergrad, I became less geared towards orchestra because I realized that like the orchestra audition circuit kind of thing wasn't for me. And I became more focused on chamber music and solo playing and just evolving as a musician. Um, I don't really want to have like a huge solo career. I mean, it would be very cool. I wouldn't like turn it down if I had the chance. But um, what I really want to do is like private teaching and chamber work. And I love playing solo pieces on the viola. I just, I don't know if that's going to be like a big thing in my career just because that's really difficult. So anyway, I focused a lot on chamber music and learning how to talk about music and think about music and teach it to other people. Anyway, I don't remember where I was getting with this, but yeah, I saw a lot of growth <laughs> during music school and just seeing that growth in real time was just so cool to me um, because I had never really experienced that before. Like there were times in my life where I could look back and I'd be like, oh wow, I've grown a lot in these last couple of years, but I didn't feel it happening in real time. Whereas in music school, I was like, wow, this is getting easier and easier. I am, this is making more sense. And at the end of each semester, like three month periods, I would think of my playing or listen to my playing. If there was a recording of a performance that I did and think, wow, I was not able to do this technique, this, this, and this before the semester started. And now I suddenly can, and it feels kind of simple. It was just so exciting to go through all of that growth and you know, that kind of makes it feel like going to school was worth it. I know I, I just made a video on if going to grad school is worth it as a musician. You can watch it up in the eye if you're interested, but definitely my four years of undergrad were absolutely worth it to me. They also cost less per year <laughs> than grad school did for me. But um, no, if I had to go back in time, I would absolutely go to that school again and go through the same program because I really loved it. And I think it was absolutely right for me. I loved my teachers and the campus and like just a lot of good memories. It was really good. Okay, so I know I talked about the schedule in my negative reel um, about having like 12 hour work days where we start with an 8 a.m. music theory class and we end the night at 9 p.m. with a rehearsal, which is technically a 13 hour day. But not all days were like that. Sometimes I'd go eight to six and then have homework. So then it would be more like eight to eight or like, you know, every day was a slightly different. But, you know, I do kind of miss that schedule of 
going to class. I don't really miss going to class, but um, I just miss that schedule of like early morning practice sessions in the practice room, getting in there and, um, in my first two years of school. If I woke up late, I would bring makeup along with me and I'd do my eyeliner in the practice room mirror and I'll insert a picture just because I'm sharing fun stories today. But um, one time I dropped my eyeliner <laughs> wall and there was a streak of eyeliner in my favorite practice room on the wall for like a year and then it was gone <laughs> yeah so um that was fun you know I'd I'd go to class I'd pick out my practice room unpack my viola and then put on my makeup and then I was like okay I'm ready to practice for the day it was it was a good routine I miss that routine even though I really don't like mornings and I don't like waking up early um that was a good routine. I would just push it back a couple hours. <laughs> I just, I really miss just walking down the practice room hallway and kind of like peeking in through the windows. I, I try not to be a creeper, but like peeking in the windows and seeing like, oh, that person's practicing. Oh, they sound so good. Like that's improved a lot in the last, not that I'm judging everyone, not that everyone judges others in the practice rooms, but um, you know, just being like, oh wow, that like, it's sounding so good or like, going past the room and seeing your friend that you haven't seen in a while and knocking on the door and just saying hi and having a conversation. It was, it was just so nice. I just loved it. And I'm introverted. I really like staying at home right now. I like being by myself, but you know, I do miss being surrounded by other musicians. It was just nice and it was very inspiring and it just kept me wanting to make music and stay in that classical music world. It was, it was just nice. And of course there were negative aspects of it. Like other people's toxic opinions and ideas about how the classical music world works or just the way that the classical music world works in general kind of like infiltrating us um but i think it's getting better that more of us are talking about you know resting and eating and not practicing all the time giving yourself breaks things like that i think it's very good that we're talking about it because the more we talk about it the more it's going to change classical music world which is not the conversation of this video but whatever I really miss my weekly lessons with my teacher um she was so great and was an awesome mentor for me for four years and you know it was so great to just come into her studio and she was always ready for whatever you needed whether that was a really intense lesson on technique or um a rehearsal with your pianist or if you were just having a really hard time and had to talk for a little bit. It was just such a great space to be in and I loved my weekly lessons with her and I really really miss that and I love being a teacher now and trying to be that person for other students. Music teachers are a big fixture in a lot of kids lives especially those of us who've become musicians because that's usually our teacher is like one of the reasons why we become a musician because we work on them one and one on one for so long and you know, they become a part of who we are and it's a very just ongoing relationship. It's, it's, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but um, I'm so glad that I had the experience of taking lessons with my teacher because it taught me a lot about how to be a teacher for other people and what I do love in teachers and how I want to be that person for my students. And yeah, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah. I just miss like all the camaraderie, <laughs> camaraderie. I don't, that's a hard word to say. And there's makeup in my eye and it tickles. Um, I miss all the camaraderie. <laughs> um, even though I wasn't like, I, I'm very introverted and shy. So it's a little hard for me to make friends with people. But um, even though I was like acquaintances with a lot of people and not like close friends um, with tons of people, I just miss you know, having that nice support system and network of people just around me. And um, my boyfriend and I were just looking at pictures from the orchestra tour that we did um, my sophomore year in school. It was an orchestra, it was an orchestra tour of Argentina. And just looking through all of the pictures and remembering just the fun times that we had, even though I was an anxious ball. Um, on that tour because it was my first time on a plane and I've been very afraid of flying my whole life. So <laughs> that was um, a scary experience for me, but just remembering 
just the camaraderie at concerts saying like oh I'm so excited to hear your solo tonight you sounded so good last time and like it's my favorite part of the concert and like telling people like oh like your solo sounded so good tonight like I was just sitting there like crying because it was so good like just having just lifting other people up and being lifted up by other people before and after concerts is just such a good feeling and like getting ready for the concert together and like warming up and people putting on their makeup and people swapping instruments because they're bored like it was just so much fun it was just such a good atmosphere and like there were so many times during music school especially during like chamber music recitals where I would just think to myself like I'm so lucky and thankful to be here and like I would just think about like I would just think like savor this moment because you're only having this for four years and I didn't know what my music career would look like like I don't I hardly even remember thinking about my career my first two years of school like I just remember like getting through day to day <laughs> like and that sounds bad but like it music school is so intense and a lot of people drop out because it is so intense and it takes a lot of dedication and perseverance to actually go through the entire music degree. There are tough classes. There are classes that are like zero or one credits and you have to attend them like every week and that takes up a time commitment and there are so many just moving parts and things and um yeah I just I felt like in my first two years I was just trying to get by but in a great way I was enjoying it I loved it um <laughs> but it wasn't until like my junior year that I thought like okay I think I want to teach and I don't really want to do orchestra and I love chamber music and I love playing solo but I don't know if I have the right kind of drive for that specific career path and that's when I started thinking about those like those like longer term career ideas but yeah there were just so many times where I'd say like enjoy this moment because it is so cool that I'm doing this <laughs> like I there were so many times where I just realized like how lucky I was and how excited I was to be there and I feel like that almost never got lost on me just because I I just always thought it would be so cool when I was younger to go to music school and just do music all day every day and I still get so excited just as a private teacher when I'm just reading sheet music all day and helping kids learn how to read music and I'm like this is like as easy as reading English to me like just being surrounded by that is still so so cool to me because it's what I wanted to do for so long and you know just like going through middle school and high school I was like like I've always loved learning but like having to go through math and like some science stuff I was like so bored and I was like I just want to study music all day it would be so cool to learn about exactly what I love all day and then like towards the end of high school I started being able to take more music electives and I was like this is so cool I can't wait to go to college and learn about this all day every single day with like nothing else and then when I got to college it was as exciting as I thought it would be so I know I <laughs> I talk about a lot of the negatives of music school very often on this channel, but I think a lot of us have that excitement for going to music school and then we're surprised by how difficult it is or by how old fashioned some things are. And I definitely want to talk about those aspects too, which I have been, um, but also like the excitement of it was never lost on me. And I'm still so excited that I went and had that experience. It's still so, so cool to me. Um, but there, I'm passionate that there are things that we should be changing about the whole music school system and curriculum and all of that. Um, and maybe I do that because I love it so much. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm passionate about changing it because I loved it and I want other people to love it too, but have better outcomes because you leave music school and then you're like now what where do I go who do I talk to what do I do like and I'm not trying to like get babied or anything like that but it's just hard to go from music school everyone is around you it's all great and then suddenly I'm alone I don't know what I'm doing 
um, which is probably just a normal adult thing here in the US, but I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed hearing about some of my favorite moments of music school. I I just, I loved being surrounded by music and like having master classes and going to other master classes and like going to concerts, especially for free, like seeing so, so much music. And there was like so, inform so much information thrown at me all the time. Sometimes it was a little overwhelming, but usually it was just inspiring to me. And I really miss that kind of overload of information. And we do have like information overload with like smartphones and the internet and all of that. But I mean like musical educational information overload. It was just so, so cool. And it was such a great time of my life. And I love thinking about it and looking back on it. And there are times where I wish I could go back to it, but I can't obviously. So I'm enjoying my life now too. <laughs> but if you've graduated from music school, please let me know in the comments what you miss now, now that you're out. And if you are looking to go into music school, please let me know if you have any questions down below or tell me what you're most looking forward to because I would love to know. Um, I was just so, so excited to go off. I, I was also very nervous because I, I don't like being away from home. So I was very scared that way, but I was very excited about the whole concept of learning about music all the time and I ended up loving it. So yeah, those are just my thoughts. I just wanted to share them today so that we could have a bit of a positive video after I shared some negative content. But, but yeah, I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you in my next video next Sunday. Thanks for watching.